Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic designs that pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And with colleges starting back up for the fall 2017 semester, it's now a great time for me to make some brief paraphernalia for my fraternity. Now I've been a Sigma man for about 9 years now, and this is pretty much where I started freelancing as a graphic designer. And actually my first t-shirt design was a Sigma t-shirt, not really the best t-shirt, but everybody has to crawl first before they can walk. Now with homecoming starting up, that means football season is starting, marching band season is starting. It's the best time for me to create some patches for some jackets. So if you guys actually like this design, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're a Sigma and you like this design, give me a double thumbs up. And before I move forward, if there's anything that you guys would like to see me design on t-shirt tuesday then leave it in the comment section below i'll definitely check it out if it's creative i'll do it but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and make magic so the first one i want to create is pretty simple and all i have to do is just create a circle real quick so and it's a very crucial step because everything i'm gonna do inside of here needs to happen inside of this circle so i'll make a new layer real quick and in this new layer i'm just gonna go ahead and create a rectangle and that looks pretty good so now what i want to do is just draw some rulers real quick and i just want the ruler to come out maybe to like just the center of this so i want one to go here and i want another one to come just in the midpoints of this so maybe right here and now back with this layer i'm just going to bring up the rotate tool and just click inside the center with this holding down option or off and this is just going to bring up the rotate sub menu i'm just going to go ahead and hit preview on this because i want to do some extra stuff with it it's pretty much just going to rotate that rectangle the way that i want it to go so i'm just going to go ahead and make this 10 and then hit copy and as you can see it made a copy so i'm gonna hold command d and this is just going to pretty much outline it and copy it all the way around and as it comes back to this point right here i'm just gonna let that go so with the thickness of these rectangles and the stroke of this circle we have to go ahead and make the circle stroke just a little bit better than that so i'm gonna go ahead and bring up the strokes and bring it on the outside of it and just kind of give this a stroke of something different and that looks good right there now five beta sigma is pretty much big on stars so i'm gonna create one right here make sure there's five point star and hit okay then i want to rotate that just a little bit to where it's just kind of standing out like this then i want to flip the stroke to fill and then move that up here and then i can scale it down as well and then i'm gonna bring one over here and i want to bring one over here and that looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take layer two and what i want to do is just copy it and paste that in front and now i want to go ahead and scale this one down just a little bit and then with the type tool i just want to go ahead and type on this path so i'm just going to go ahead and click right here to get that going for myself And that looks pretty good, but what I want to do now is just kind of fix the kerning real quick. So between this I and a G is too much space. So I'm going to bring that back. And between this I and the S is too much space. Between this M and the G is too much space. And between the A and the M is just a little bit too much. So I think this looks good right here. And that looks pretty good. So now what I want to do is just kind of build out this inner element, which is going to be the dove. So I brought in the Sigma shield and I just want to go ahead and get this dove out. And the way that I want to do that is just go ahead and trace over it. And what I want to do is just use my pen tool to just draw out this dove. And that looks pretty good. So now what I want to do is just take this dove and just bring it into the artboard. So I just want to bring this over here. I'm going to put this in like this. So it's kind of like fitting into some of these gaps. Maybe this right here. I can kind of bring this one in just a little bit. So it looks a little bit like this. Just kind of bring it up some. And now I just want to hover back over to this circle one more time. Paste in the front. And I don't want to scale this one down just a little bit more. And then on this circle path, I just want to type in 1914. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one alone for a second. I'm going to come back to this. But I want to go ahead and start this next one. Now this next build is going to be done in a circle. I just want to go ahead and draw my circle real quick. So I'm just bring this out like maybe this much right here. And I want to flip this to a stroke. And then I want to bring the stroke out to maybe I guess 15. Then I'm going to lock this layer down. Now inside of this, I just want to use the rounded rectangle tool to just start building out some fingers and some thumbs. So I'm going to build out a thumb real quick. And of course, I just kind of want to move it around so everything kind of fits in here. Now holding the Alt or Option button, I'm just going to go ahead and click and kind of drag out. So this is going to make a copy of it. And I just want to go ahead and make this right here. And then doing it again, I just want to bring that right here and then bring another copy right here. 
and then take this and then bring it in over here. Now I'm gonna select all of these and just kind of make it fit inside of this. So a little bit like this, and maybe I can kind of stretch it out just a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna take this one and just bring it all the way down. Now with layer 19 and layer 18 selection, I'm just gonna go to object, path, and outline stroke. And now this just turns all the strokes into an outline. Now I'm just gonna take layer 19 one more time and just kind of scale it in just a little bit more so it's just kind of proportionally in there. And then I'm gonna scale it up some, just a little bit. Now with layer 19 and layer 18 selected, I'm gonna take the shape builder tool and just click out all the stuff that I don't need. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock these into the same layer and then I'm gonna lock this layer down. And now on a new layer, I just wanna take my paintbrush and just kind of brush in some details. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is just in the center of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and click and hold and make a circle. Now with the type on path tool, I just wanna go ahead and click on this. Now the message that I wanna put in here is kind of a play on Biggie Smalls and what Phi Beta Sigma actually says. So if you ever been on a, a campus, maybe a HBC or just a regular campus, a college campus that has Phi Beta Sigma, they'll say Blue Phi you know, right? So in this, I wanna type out a small little reference to Phi Beta Sigma, but not really. <laughs> And this looks pretty good. I just want to do just one more small design element inside of here and just kind of make kind of like some waves in the background of this. So I'm going to take the line tool and just draw out a line. And then with this line, I just want to make a copy of it holding alter option and just kind of bring it over just a little bit. And then I want to flip this over some like this. Now with this, I just want to hold alter option and then click and drag it over some like this. Then I want to take those two and then do it again for the other side. Now with my eraser tool, I just want to go ahead and delete out all the stuff that's kind of I guess protruding the design. And just as one final design element, just to go inside of here, I wanna make the 13 rays. And okay, as a bonus step, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to color this in Photoshop. Now this is a vector, however, we're not gonna really deal with this vector too much after this one step. And the reason why is because this is just Photoshop. Now you could technically color this in Illustrator, but because I know a majority of the people that's watching this is in Photoshop and does Photoshop work, this is how you would go about this. Hold command and click inside an actual artwork inside of this layer to get a selection. Now with this selection, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command J and make a copy. So what this basically just did was make a raster copy of that vector. I can go ahead and turn that vector off now. Now to actually color this, however, we wanna go ahead and bring in the paint bucket tool. Now with the paint bucket tool, what we wanna do is just pretty much sample out one of these two colors and just kinda put it into these areas that make sense. So for example, this brown right here, I can sample this out holding alter option and then just clicking and I can pretty much just dump that into anywhere in this hand and when I click it just pretty much fills it all out and I also want to turn these stars blue so I'm just going to go ahead and sample out the blue and then click on the stars. Now because this is a raster the pixels actually bleed into shapes what I got to do is take the lasso tool and just kind of separate these out and once I got it selected I'm just going to go ahead and hit command J and then paint one of these back black. Now with that one correction, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out this design. So now that I got this design done and pretty much colored, all I have to do is hit Command S to save this in. Now I didn't tell you guys that I actually made a mock-up that pretty much translates whatever you put into it into a patch. So with that being said, this is what we get when we're done coloring inside of this mock-up that I created. Now this mock-up will be available for anybody that's a patron of mine on my Patreon. It's only $5 a month, but you get access to all of my libraries. You get access to my graphic packs that I created, and you also get access to my mock-ups. And this is very crucial for anybody that's trying to get into apparel design and stuff like that. So consider subscribing to the ACA community where I'm helping you become a better designer.
And with that final tweak, you guys, it's the end of my design project. So this has been very fun for me and it actually brought me back to when I was in undergrad because this is where I started graphic design. I pretty much started freelancing as a graphic designer for Phi Beta Sigma and then I started freelancing for the MPHC and everybody that was Divine 9. And with that one connection that I had with Miss Blue and White on 4th of July, I pretty much made my decision about being a graphic designer in undergrad. So not only was this a fun project for me to do, it also brought me back to my roots. And if you guys like this one, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, then go ahead and subscribe. I do this all the time. As a matter of fact, I invite you to check out the rest of my channel and just catch some value. I'm always doing something. And if you guys have any suggestions for T-Shirt Tuesday, then leave it in the comment section below. I'll definitely check it out. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.